Да я хуя по тебе сад прилетел. Какой кап нахуй? Это кап был. Fun and Russian incompetence always go hand in hand. Russians are installing dragon's teeth on roads used by supply vehicles. Smart idea, but it is not working as intended. In the Kursk region, dragon's teeth were placed on evacuation routes used by Russian forces, causing vehicles speeding at 150 km per hour to crash while fleeing Ukrainian FPV drones. Russian channels claim that there are no markings and no warnings. They add that 40 Russians have died in one night, with just as many wounded. A witness described the danger. I was driving back and almost crashed into them. Didn't want to risk the fields in the dark, so I took the road. I barely avoided the second set. Frustration is growing among soldiers, with one remarking, In just a few days, we've had more casualties, including irrecoverable losses, from these damn dragon's teeth than from enemy drones. Your dragon is fighting on the wrong side. While some blame sabotage groups, it's clear that such large obstacles couldn't have been placed by hand alone. Schmucks. The 14th Assault Brigade Chervona Kalina destroyed a Russian BM-21 Grad MLRS filled with ammo. A Ukrainian soldier in the Kursk region, upon learning that a huge KAB guided bomb, which will kill you almost always, had just been dropped on him and he survived. <laughs> Я доволен сегодняшним днем на все сто процентов. Я живой, мы живы, все заебись. The 13th Brigade of the National Guard of Ukraine, Kartia, halted a Russian column by destroying a tank, airborne forces, and equipment with anti-tank mines and drones. They even took out a Russian drone operator's command post. Military correspondent Sladkov headed to the front in the Kursk region to film reports. The trip turned out to be eventful. He even had a chance to ride a motorcycle, though the poor thing took a beating, and showed footage of dead Ukrainian soldiers. However, he had to be cautious, keeping his head down due to the constant presence of FPV and other unidentified drones overhead, forcing him to frequently take cover. 
The report makes it clear that Russian claims of successes in the Kursk region are double-edged, as even the most cautious war correspondent faces the constant threat from deadly Ukrainian operators. He's just in the car, I said he's staying You know the little pipe around the <laughs> Zip a little bit to the side. Drama queen, as we call her. Yeah, she squeals closely, thought it was 400 meters. Come over here instead. Those forest clearings we've been cleaning for the past two or three days, they keep coming in. But a lot of birdies fell. A couple of times falcons came because sometimes I shut this device off because it screams, squeals all day long. When you don't know, you sleep more soundly, so to speak. Now I see two divisions that's nearby. Fifty minutes, here's FPV. Uh, I just turned the sound off so it's not annoying. Fifteen minutes, it's somewhere now. There'll be an explosion, then you can go calmly. Continuation follows. Group of infantry, a lone fighter, some kind of equipment. Even... <laughs> Look, oh no, it's a D-30! Hope it's at that spot from where these no-good fellas fly off. Got it, he's leaving. They're leaving, they're leaving. All around. Are we waiting or leaving? We're waiting. Uh, a bit weaker under the tree. We're watching the building. Wing, the wing works, the wing. Not wrong, not wrong. Listen, I suggest we go out and move to another room. This is a solid building, Alexander Alexandrovich, oh, Soviet made. Good, but the roof. So stand in the passage oh, like right this. No. And it's not popping. It's a wing. And who's not carrying? Usually not. Attention, attention, subscribers. Wing, wing, who sees in which area, in which area is it flying, question? Plus, plus, accepted. If you see, you see, kid, get in touch, get in touch. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.